Okay. I'm only going to keep score on the uh, the front table because that's the mainstream table. Megan, how long have you been playing? Um, I grew up playing pool with my dad, but just started playing competitively last fall. So it's always been a hobby, but. Just like military and hunters, you know how to shoot. Yeah, I, I, I wish that would help. <laughs> <laughs> What do you do in the Air Force? I am security forces. So security, so you do have a weapon. Two. Two yep. weapons. Mm -hmm. Force multiplier. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so we do security and then military police. Both of those. And you're going to retire or are you going to? I'm taking one day at a time. One day at a time. <laughs> See, that that's time. smart. When I was in, I just did one day at a time. Yep. And... I ended up getting out. It was just better family-wise to get out, and that's oh, the whole yeah. thing, you know. Mm -hmm. what, what branch were you in? I was Navy. Navy, okay. Yeah. Different break rules? Yeah, because here the women don't have the three-point rule that the open division does. Oh, okay. Honestly, I don't know enough to have a decent opinion about that. Uh, Duke, the three-point rule is on the break. Three balls must be pocketed and oh. or cross into the head string okay. in order to be a legal break. I've never played that way. You never played that way? Yeah, no. the women's divisions don't play that okay. way here. So. A cordless hole puncher, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we have to be careful with certain words on YouTube. <laughs> but I do sense. have a I do have a channel sponsor that's a Cerakote. Fresh okay. Country Cerakote. So they do automatic hole punchers and mm, gotcha. stuff like that. So YouTube don't like that three letter word. I believe it. Yeah, the cord does get irritating at times. Oh, nice. Nice shot. And came off the point off the side pocket so it didn't scratch. Let me write that down. Yeah, any combination thereof. Lav, we've talked about that, and I do have a cordless uh, lavalier or whatever you call it, but I'm not sure how the music, I'm not sure if my noise gate would be able to cut it out or be strong, also strong enough for them to be able to chat. Okay, so Buddy got that one. But believe me, I've got a lot of things in the works.
All right, Buddy normally wrecks really quick for his break, so. And why Lisa followed that one, I have no idea, but at least the cue ball didn't go in. <laughs> Okay, I'm still winning my bid on the camera. Okay, we're good. I've got a, a matching camera to this one. I found on eBay. Ooh, nice. So I'm betting. Uh, I'm, I put a bid on it. It just went up a little bit, but I'm still the winning bid. That's awesome. Yeah, so I'll find out tomorrow night if I got it. Are you going to do like a dual setup? or? I, actually, I can do that right now. Oh, okay. oh I've got two cameras, nice. but with the limited space we have it's here like here i can do one mm -hmm. i have an attachment that attaches to this tripod okay. that can mount another camera oh and we've got two of them so i've got wow. two tripods just like this and i got two mounting brackets so the goal is eventually four cameras okay. and doing all sorts of weird things switching back and forth mm -hmm. morning chuck Yeah, in some places, I, you know, like when I did the ACS Texas State Championships, if I would have had four cameras, it would have been sweet. Being able to go back and forth to different camera views. and That would be awesome. Is it a lot to manage? Yeah, it is a lot yeah, to manage. That. That's actually part of the reason why a lot of streamers will go to Facebook and YouTube. Mm. I can't keep track of two chats. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, That's I'm fair. like, okay, buddy got that one. And th this one is a one loss side match, everyone, so it's a race to five. Now, the late, why I always do that too. Um, the ladies' side, a winner's side match is a race to five, the one loss side is a race to four. All right, and my score is matching what they're updating online. Oh, jeez, what the heck did I do? There it is. What's oh, up? He's asking if it's 2 1. Oh, huh? I've got 2 1. Yeah, it's 2-1 Buddy on the mainstream table. And I don't have the bracket, um, sorry, scoreboard out for the ladies, but it's 1-1, one, one, I believe. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to see Carmel actually playing. Yeah. Because normally is. she is just strictly tournament director. Mm -hmm. But she does have Mitch here today to help out. Because I think last year the only tournament she played was the Scotch Doubles tournament. So, do you have a lot of places to play where you're stationed? Um, yes and no. There's a couple, uh, like bar tables in town. But it's a relatively small town, so we drive about an hour to uh, play on an hour seven to play. footers, yeah, or eight so footers. So you basically got number. bars, bars, table. But you got regular bars, yeah, where y'all live, and then you drive to go play on bigger yep. tables, so, and that's cool. City. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, for us, I mean, you know, Lisa and I, where we live, it's a forty-five minute drive here. Okay. That's so we live, you know, we're. A good distance because we live out in the country. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, we got a jump cue coming out. Oh, 
Oh, it didn't go. Nice leave, though. Yeah, that's actually... Damn good leave. <laughs> Justin's got a big smile on his face like, well, the heck am I going to deal with this? So, Matthew... All right, everyone, I'll be right back. I need to go get me a Coke. Yeah, I think I'm going to get called soon. I might get called soon for my next game. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Amber. I appreciate it. Maybe I'll stop back in later. All right, yeah, Megan, I think, is getting ready to play her next match. Um, <laughs> magic, magic is just unexplained science or undiscovered science. Is he looking to come off the two ball to get the nine? Not sure what he's looking at here. Oh, he it overrolled it. He was, I believe, trying to get it behind the eight ball. <laughs> A neener, neener. You got it. All right, so we are 2-2. Two, two.
Carmel's up 2 1. All right. Thank you, Dana. Oh, he did? I'm sorry, everyone. I thank y'all for straightening me out. There we go. I was still sitting down, getting situated. Oh, it hit the points. It's rolling. Is it going to get enough? Uh, I think he wanted it to roll up a little bit more. He made it very simple. He didn't try to force it to get on the other side of the table. All right. Now it's 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, it, it's actually cold in here. I'm I'm getting a little chilly. All right, we want to thank Eastie with Royce Leather Goods for being one of our original channel sponsors. Uh, he he is a master leather craftsman, and he does make custom leather cue cases. But if you need anything made out of leather. Hit him up. Uh, his contact information and access to, I think, the Instagram is there where you can see pictures of his past work. And we do want to thank everyone for joining us on the Backwards Billiards YouTube channel. We really do appreciate it. If y'all haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider it. It helps us out more than you can imagine. Okay, and Buddy's finishing up. Let me get you back to the table. Hey, if y'all have not hit that thumbs up, we'd really appreciate it. Lisa's waiting for Buddy to shoot. Nice try.
she she nicked it. I don't know if she bumped it over enough for Carmel to take it straight in off a cut. All right, now we got Justin on the stream mainstream table. All right, buddy's going to get his bridge out. Okay, Carmel's going for that eight in the side. Oh, she forced it. She pounded that thing in there. All right, buddy's going with a safety. <laughs> yeah give me a moment everybody
Yep. All right, I'm back, everybody. I had baked goods. Lisa went for the cut. And Justin's up 3-2. This match is a race. The mainstream table is a race to five. This is a one-loss side match. Hey, everyone. And we have another new member that's joined our Eclectic Pool family. Welcome. Oh, beautiful bank, buddy. Uh, we are now at 6,955. Thank you all for being part of our Eclectic Pool family. We really do appreciate it. Best food at all the pole halls I've been to. The best burger goes to Betsy's by far. Now, don't get me wrong, Skinny Bob's has got some really good food, but the burger at Betsy's, if you're talking just burgers-wise, it takes the cake. I mean, it, their burgers are just, excuse my language, badass. There's barbecue everywhere in Texas. <laughs> There's no such thing. Best barbecue is everywhere. No, it's um, according to the online bracket. It's 3-2, Justin. So Justin needs one more to get on the hill. Hey, Addison. Burt Bean Barbecue, yeah. There, there are so many good barbecue places doing good. It just amazes me how they keep looking over here. <laughs> All right, with that one, it gets Buddy 3-3. Three, three. Yep. Oh, 
Sorry, one, uh, one of the gentlemen was asking if we brought clothing today. He bought a cap last time. He was going to get a shirt. Okay, Dana, what's the updated score on Lisa and Carmel? Three, two. All right. Thank you, Dana. All right. He got the one ball by there. He should. Yeah, it looks like he can see the two ball. Get on it. He bumped the eight enough. I don't think he bumped the eight enough. You obviously can see it. And he just nicked it. Gonna try hiding it behind the seven nine. He misses it. All right, so Buddy's going to have ball in hand. All right, he got back on the other side of the seven ball. Oh. 
Oh, nice inside English on that one. Okay, that puts Buddy on the hill. All right. Oh, yeah, I can repost it. I think I still got it saved in my... There you go. You're welcome, Pops. Everyone, we have another new member that's joined our Eclectic Pool family. Welcome. We're now at 6,956. Thank you all for being part of our Eclectic Pool family. Going to be able to tap it. Yeah. He hit it, but Buddy's got an easy shot on it.
Ouch. All right, so Buddy takes this one. Give me a moment. I'm going to zoom.